everyone. In this video we're going to look at annotation of a thumbnail. In this case it's the serial packaging design that we use in S3 graphics. Now in preparation to do this video, what I've done is I've already created my thumbnail of the little serial packaging. I've used the template provided and I've gone in and added some of the graphics. Now the main little graphic, the little alien, and even the title is one that we provide as an example for you. You can use that one if you want, or you can choose to create your own little mascot character and include that. My first stage was to lay out most of my content. So you can see I've got my main little alien graphic, my serial bowl and my title. I've then tried to use other little graphics to represent different parts of the information that you'd find on a serial packet. So I've got little titles for the nutritional information, for the address, other things for like ingredients down here. And I've tried to simplify that. So rather than writing out lots and lots of text or drawing lots of small graphics, what I've done is I've used little lines just to represent the text. That's shown in that comment up there. And I've also tried to simplify the little puzzle graphic at the back. So I've represented that as a rectangle with a cross through it. That just represents an image. I've not done that for every image, but I have done for that one because it would be more complicated. And again, I've annotated that there and just explained my decision. The next stage was to add my annotation and explain my design decisions. So explain what design elements and principles that I've used and I'm going to talk you through some of them just now. So starting up in the top right corner, I've put the title text will be created in a space style typeface. So whilst I've drawn it as quite a simple, normal capital set of text, what I'm explaining there is that I would probably choose a fancier font for that, a fancier typeface that was more fitting with the little character. I've then talked through that all the text is left aligned, so I've highlighted the fact that it's aligned, talking about alignment, and I've explained that I would do that so that it's organised and easy to read, and that's referring to all that text down there. I've then gone on to explain that red text contrasts with the green heading, so I've deliberately chosen red and green, so I had red from my alien and I wanted a contrast in colour that I've used the green throughout the rest of the graphic. Moving on to the little weight graphic down at the bottom corner. I've said that the weight of the packet is emphasised because it's in a large size typeface so that it stands out because that's one of the key bits of information that the user would want to see is how much cereal is actually in that box. I've overlapped the alien on top of the bowl and the idea is to show that it's a three dimensional image and that it's going to create depth so I've underlined depth there as well. And then I've got the image of the alien is repeated throughout to try and create unity so by repeating that little graphic on different panels, it's linking all the panels together, it's creating unity. Now you'll notice that in my graphic there's quite a few spaces. I've deliberately left white space so it's not cluttered. Now even though it's not white, it's obviously grey black that I've rendered that in, we still refer to any kind of empty space as white space and it's just to give a bit of breathing space in the graphic so it's not too confusing or too cluttered to read. Moving back to contrast, I'm referring again that my bright green and red colours contrast and they draw attention. So you're looking at different parts where they contrast so that I can see the difference between the titles and the little bits of written information. I've got the image of the alien is larger than the text and it's to draw attention. So that's creating emphasis by the alien being bigger than the title each time. It's drawing attention to the little graphic first and then you're reading the text. I've got my rectangular title shapes. So those are the rectangular boxes all the way around are designed to create a bit of contrast because they're quite straight and organised and geometric whereas my alien is a bit more curved and round and a bit more geometric so it's a different type of contrast. And then again I've talked about using the same red colour for the alien and the text creating unity so by using the red colour the same there and there, there and there, it's creating unity by repeating that colour trying to make sure that I've not filled it with too many colours, it's quite simplistic, try to limit the amount of colour in there so that it's still attractive but that it's not overwhelming and it's easy to follow. And then I've pointed out that each of the titles has a drop shadow, so a little bit of shadowing underneath, a little drop shadow and I've even done it to the alien as well even though I've not annotated it and again that's just creating depth by adding that little shadow it makes it look a little bit more three-dimensional, gives a bit of texture to the page and shows depth. So. That's all my main annotations and that's what we would be looking for you guys to do with any of your thumbnail graphics that you would create in graphic communication. It's something you would then take forward to National 5 and to hire. At the end of the video I'll put a couple of examples of people work so you can see the different ways that they've annotated them as well.